But um, I feel like today uh, we tried to do that. But, you know, some calls didn't go our way, this, that, and the other. But you know what it is, what it is. It's a game of basketball. You just got to roll with it. How important was Gabe today? I know he didn't necessarily fill up oh, the uh, the scoring line, but did a lot of everything else. That was Gabe did everything that he was supposed to. Gabe, and then some on top of that. Like I said, um, Gabe, he's a player. He uh, he comes in. He works hard. He doesn't really care about his personal accolades or anything like that. He just comes in, makes the team better, and uh, encourages his teammates. And, you know, him taking those charges and um, helping defensively walling up without fouling, which was very big at the end of the game. You know, things like that, I, I'll say um, I give Gabe the credit, to be honest with you. Derek, looked like they wanted to go inside out at the beginning, and you guys stopped that a little bit. What were you able to do to slow them down? Switch um, it up a little bit on uh, it's uh, been one of our players named Gabe. Uh, so he, <laughs> Gabe, he really, um, he really helped us a lot. Like I said, uh, he, him coming in and helping us, talking to us, you know, uh, helps our defense and um, uh, staying up the line and staying on the line and just, you know, just communication. You really understand how big communication is when on defense and when you can't hear someone and you know you're just going off signals. You know that really. And then someone to tell you a signal, and then and it turns out to be right. You, you know, you put your trust in that person because you know he's going to have your back. We press in a little bit early until you settled down a little bit in the game. Um, you talking about me personally? Yeah. Kind of oh, um, I would say uh, Speed yes, sir. Up a little bit. Yes, sir. I feel like I um I was rushing some of my shots. I, um, I wasn't really like being um, you know, patient with my shots, and I just. You know, just wasn't taking my time, and I was uh, once that once I got a couple fouls and hugs sat me down like, look, you need to slow down. And then that's when I was like, all right, all right, all right, I gotta slow down. And then after that, I felt like everything started to go in the right direction with me, like scoring wise. But you know, type of game like this, I don't even really care about it. Why not? High guy winning the high about state. What's that feel like? Sorry, say that again. A high guy beating a high state home, home state school. What's that feel like? Man. It means a lot to be honest with you, because you know you like me not going to Ohio State and not even like really being recruited by Ohio State. You know to come in here and do that to them where they're they ever ranked, that yeah, that, that feels good for sure. Derek, you talk about the play of Gabe, but what about Deuce? He had had some back to back threes for you in the first and second half in there from the line. And Deuce, he was pulling all types of things out of his hat today. He uh, <laughs> he, he shot like a, a one finger floater, like runner, and went in, and he couldn't do. It. And I seen him put his arms up, running, running back, and I feel like that's all you could do. I almost did the same thing, but I seen Oscar doing it too, so I just looked him up. <laughs> but um, yeah, Deuce, he's been um, he's been remarkable. He's been Coming through with uh, big shots, he plays defense. He um, and he's a team player. He he really likes to like you know be around the guys and the team continuity and all, everything. So I feel like if we keep guys like that, who's who's like a sponge, and what I mean by a sponge that like wants to learn everything, just that and other, we'll be we'll be all right. How do, how do you how do you win a game like that where you guys get in that foul trouble early and? I mean, it, it probably wasn't going how you thought it would be going in. How, how, do, you, how do you take care of business, though? So? Um, I feel like just us having to, uh, you know, going back to the drawing board, that's what uh, Hugs always, he, he, he's big on. He's always big on that. You know, once things start to break down and things go wrong, he goes back to what, what got him to, the, to that position, which is goes back to the drawing board, breaks everything down, and uh, figure out where everything went wrong. And then I feel like, once we uh once we do that, I mean once we did that, like I'll say like halftime because at the beginning of the first half, I mean at the end of the first half we knew we were like bro we're in this game. We were like bro this is the number two team in the country. You feel, you feel me? So um we we, we got this. We, we're gonna be all right. So I feel like we went out there the second half and we stuck to what Coach said and everything played out. Derek, this is the second straight game you guys got out rebounded but still able to come away from the win. What needs to change to be able to come away with that advantage on the board? Um. To be honest with you, it's really kind of hard when, you know, like whenever team that you play knows like you're a rebounding team, and then they look at the guys who gets the most rebounds and send like the whole house at them. So it's kind of like you know it's hard to maneuver. But you know I'm not making any, any excuses by any means. I just have to figure out ways how to um, capitalize off of those whatever they give me, and um, you know go grab more boards. What's going through your head at the end of the game with the block? You made that block. Oh. Um, I don't know what was I don't know what was going through my head. Oh yes I do, I lied, I'm sorry. Um when I seen them drive down on the left side, I, I was really debating if I was gonna like keep stunting at him, stunting at him because I know what he was gonna do. But once I see him take his last step and drop his shoulder, I knew he was um I knew he was shooting the ball and I knew he like he didn't have any more steps. So once he did that I just jumped. And I put my hands up, and I, at first I didn't attempt to swipe it, but once I seen like I had enough 
leverage underneath me to swipe it, I just block it out of bounds. So um, everything goes well after that point. <laughs> did you realize then, like, damn, we're gonna upset the number two team in the country? Yeah, I did. Cause once I looked up, I seen like this one man. He looked like a diehard Ohio State fan. He just picked this. He threw it, threw his hat on the ground, picked it up, and just walked off. I'm like, oh yeah, I think we got this one. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, was Weston the first guy this year that was big enough to where you and Oscar couldn't just outsize him? Um. I wouldn't necessarily say he was, no, he's not, he wasn't too big for us, no. I feel like they did a good job of putting him in position where he was at, for like what he does, and to, to for him to capitalize off of that. But I wouldn't necessarily say, no, he wasn't too big or too strong or anything, no. no. But he's the biggest guy you've Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Does so that far, change? He's like 6'9", 270. Yeah. And the whole crazy thing is, he's my first cousin, him and Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, did you feel like um, playing against your cousins had had a little more uh, like how did that, how did it impact your play against him? Um, I don't want to necessarily say impacting my play like to to like to a whole different level because for me personally, I feel like I play bad. But um, like, but everybody who knows me, they know I'm not a personal accolade. I can care less about what I do personally. As long as we win, I'm cool with that. But I say playing against them. I say it bring a little bit extra umph to the game, but like I said, I didn't want to get out of character or anything, you know, do something that's out of the norm to like to the point where you can just see like, oh, Derek's trying to do something, Derek's trying to do this, this, that, and other. No, that's not me. I don't like to bring attention to myself, so I, I fly on the radar and do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs>